You're still working on that stupid delusion board? It's a vision board, and it's not stupid. Oh, right, because by pasting pictures to some board, you're gonna magically have a dog named Mr. Noodles and a thriving interior design company called By Design. And really, you're gonna magically begin dating the school's quarterback, Hal Hartley? No, it says, find my soulmate. Right. You know what? I don't care what you think. I know it's all gonna come true. Every single thing on this board is gonna manifest itself in my life. Every single one. Okay. Yeah, Mom, we'll definitely try to get home for my birthday, but it's just been so busy around here with the store buyout and all. Yeah. Oh, uh, Brent's actually talking to Bill Keys right now. I just don't know if it's the best use of space. Oh, hold on, Mom. So sorry to interrupt, guys, but I actually thought if you open up this area, the two showrooms would just flow so much better. Honey, could you grab us a cup of coffee? Of course. Sorry about that, Mom. <laughs> Definitely try to call you back later, but Brent said he has something very important he wants to talk to me about. Brent, she makes an excellent point. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sugar. Sugar. Where would the sugar be? <gasps> oh my god, Mom. There's a ring. There's a ring in Brent's drawer. <gasps> yeah, he's gonna propose. <gasps> Keys just left. You ready to go? Yes. Um, Brent, wasn't there something important you wanted to tell me? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I guess we could do it here. Oh. Brooke, you and I have been together for a while. Wow, this is hard to do. <laughs> You're doing great. The thing is, I know how much you've given up for me. You put your dreams of having an interior design studio on hold in order to help me grow my business and make it a success. I wanted to do it. Yeah. For us. I'm really glad to hear that. Especially now with everything that's coming together, the store being bought out, and it's... It's a dream come true. It is. And that's why it's really hard for me to tell you that I've met someone else. What? I didn't mean for it to happen. It was love at first sight. She's the receptionist at my dentist's office. I just saw a ring in your drawer, Brent. Yeah, I'm going to propose to her. You and I have had some wonderful years together, and I just want you to know that you can take all the time that you need. Time for what? For getting your things out of the condo. You'll bounce back. up everything for him. No, I have nothing. No job, nowhere to live. No. You can stay here as long as you want. Come on, let's get you in the house. Are you hungry? I made your favorite chocolate chip cookies. No, thanks. I think I'm just gonna lie down. Honey, don't use your hands. Where's the syrup? Probably somewhere in Brooke's bed. <laughs> Mom, seriously, you can't keep babying Brooke like that. It's just gonna make it harder when she has to face reality. I know, but it's only been a week. Plus, it's her birthday week, which makes everything a hundred times worse. Well, I have to get to work. Thank you for looking after Lily. Of course. Oh, and... Please, don't forget to hold tomorrow night. For Brooke's birthday party, I remember. We'll be there. 
Thank you. Do you think she's going to come out of her room long enough to blow out the birthday candles? Who knows? Bye, Mommy. <sighs> Morning! Ah, Brooke, you have to get out of bed. Why? For one thing, you got a job. One of Tara's clients decided to hire you sight unseen because of all of your experience in the furniture store. Great. On, oh, honey, it's a beautiful day. Ugh. Brooke. You have to stop living like this. At least unpack your things. You cannot let Brent stop you. I mean, it's time to move on. What's the point? Nothing ever works out. You know, I gave up all of my dreams for Brent. Now guess what? He's happy, and I have nothing. Oh, look what I found. It's your old message board. Vision board. <laughs> oh, you spent so much time and energy on this. Mm, I had such hopes and dreams. Not a good at Jimmy. Look at that. Not one thing on there came true. Out of the garbage. The rest of my hopes and dreams. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brooke. Happy birthday to you. Yay. That's so sweet. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. The candles. You make a wish and blow them out. What's the point? Wishes don't come true. They don't? Mommy. Of course they do, honey. No, they don't. Brooke. Of course they do, Lily. And Brooke used to know that herself. Why, she even made a big board with all her hopes and dreams on it. Mom, I told you to throw that out. Close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candles. What would I even wish for? For this. For which? All of it. Wish for everything on this board to come true. OK, if you won't do it for you, will you do it for me? OK, fine. I wish for everything on my vision board to materialize in my life. Every single thing. What was that? Thanks for the party, guys. 30 is going to be a blast. I can just tell. I wanted some cake, too. Oh, hi, honey. You look like an Amish person. I can't believe I have to wear a uniform to work at a furniture store. You look great. Have you lost some weight? No. Please, Mom. She's done nothing but eat junk food since she came home. If anything, she's gained weight. No, I didn't. In fact, I think I did lose weight. Yeah? Yeah. Bet you 20 bucks. All right, she'll take that bet. Mom. Come on. Come on, let's go. Excuse us? What? What? What is it? Oh! See? You have lost some pounds. Five. I lost five pounds. Let me see that scale. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, my poor scale, my poor turkey. Go on, you guys go to work. I'll clean all this up. Have a good day. You don't want your breakfast cookie? I already lost a few pounds. Might as well try to eat more healthfully.
as you can see, our furniture is rather traditional. We do cater to a very upscale clientele, I can tell you that. It's lovely. Yes, I'm very proud of my shop. What are you doing? I just felt like the table was a little too close to the couch. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I have everything exactly as I want it. Put it back for me. Sorry. Thank you. It's OK. If you need anything, I'll be in the back working on the books. But only call me if it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> oh, do you need help with those? Hi, thanks. Oh, are you here to do a return? Because these don't look like our pieces. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> oh, well, even though we are technically a furniture store, we don't actually store people's furniture here. No? <laughs> I'll keep that in mind for next time. Uh, in this case, I was hoping you could take a look, maybe consider featuring some of my pieces in your store. Oh, you made these? Yeah, I'm Josh <sighs> Stanton. Brooke Yardley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, this chair is sleek, but still sort of rustic and- Please. Oh, and it's really comfortable, too. Yeah, I'm glad you noticed. Some people judge off looks alone. They end up sorry. Yeah. Uh, the problem is I don't really make the decisions around here. It's Trevor's store, and uh, he doesn't seem to be too open. No, it's OK. Thanks, anyway. Oh, this painting. I think it could work with some of our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind if I hold on to it and maybe show it to Trevor? No, sure. Um, I can stop by later in the week. That'd be great. Rock, a little help, please. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will see you next week. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Rock, please come and I call you. I need yes. some help. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Isn't it great? It's from a local artist woodworker. He wanted to maybe sell them here. No, absolutely not. Oh, well, I think it's really nice and could work. No, the answer is a firm nada. Get rid of it. In fact, put it in the back until you do. Oh, it just, it violates my eyeballs. Okay. Oh, I just love my life. Oh, hi, honey. How was work? Don't ask. Oh, sorry. Could you take that garbage out for me, please? Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Where did you come from? Oh, my God, you're such a cute. from? I don't know. He must have wandered into the yard somehow, but... Oh, what a cutie pie. <laughs> and he doesn't have any tags. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get changed and find him something to eat. You do sort of look like Mr. Noodles, but then again, so do 90% of the mutts out there, probably. And those five pounds I lost was probably from all that sugar I ate. Must have kickstarted my metabolism into high gear. Hey, looks like you got a dog. I didn't actually get him. He found me. Don't tell me you actually believe your, your pipe dream board is coming true. Vision board. Just because you lost some weight and a stray dog wandered into the yard. It is strange though, that it all happened right after I made that birthday wish. So you do think it's thanks to the vision board? No, I don't. I mean, look, I know better than to think some board I created when I was 14 is like determining my fate. Well, that's good to hear. Anyway, mom made dinner, so come on in. In a sec. 
You're such a good boy. You're such a good, good boy, Mr. Noodles. But it does look like you. And over here, we have a mid-century modern chair, which is quite good to sit in. It's a bit stiff. It's good for your posture, because who needs to relax in their own home, really? Uh, excuse me for one second. Hi, Annie. Mom, what are you doing here? Why do you have Mr. Noodles? I just couldn't keep him at home. And he was going crazy, howling and chewing up things. I think he missed you. Plus, I have an appointment, so you have to take him. Mom, I can't. Trevor it doesn't even let customers in with dogs. I also found this in the backyard. It must be his dog collar. It says his name is Bentley. And on the other side is a phone number. So just call his owners and tell them that you have their dog. Oh, OK. What? Nothing. Just I thought he didn't have an owner. That he was meant to be mine. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. But if somebody lost their little doggy, <laughs> You know they'd want him back, right? Yeah. I gotta run. I'll see you later. Bye, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Noodles. Or Bentley. Hi. I believe I found your dog, Bentley. Uh, you can come get him at GDF Studios at 12 Main Street. Uh, is, is this a bad time? No, it's perfect. Cool. I'm really sorry it just didn't work out with Trevor. It's not really his style. Yeah. Let me go get it. Thanks. <laughs> Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Thank you. I really am sorry. If it was up to me, I would have kept it. I would have bought five more. Uh, is a dog eating oh. Mr. Noodles! No! 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 Oh! Oh, oh you're here. Oh. Oh. Okay, honey. Bro, I need your help. Okay. Sorry. Oh. I'm not the man I used to be. Uh, uh. Okay, I will help. Oh, oh, oh! My God, what happened to my lovely abusive pillow? Oh my God, it's soaking wet. What happened here? I'm so sorry. I am gonna get that clean. What? what? A big fluffy rat? It's not a rat. It's it's a dog, Mr. Noodles. I have allergies. I found him, and I already called his owner. I'm returning him. Good. Go. Now. Come back, and I'll clean everything, and I'll dry clean that pillow. And... No, just just don't come back. What? I'm sorry, but this isn't working out for you. I mean, this job. I, I know you know about furniture and design, but you're not happy here. But... Please, just... Heartbreaking, but necessary. Can't even keep the jobs I don't want. And now I can't keep you either, Mr. Noodles. Bentley! <laughs> That's your dog? Yes, he's my dog. <laughs> Hi. I'm a Hal. Hartley. Right. Oh, sorry. Uh, wow, that's just, that's so strange. It is. Yeah, this is my dog. I, I don't know how he got out. Uh, apparently, the uh, mailman maybe left the gate open or something. Anyway, I, I am so thankful that you found him, because I don't know what I'd do if I ever lost this little guy. Yeah. He's a great dog. <laughs> so you seem to know me. Have have we met before? Uh, no, not technically, but we did go to high school together and uh, junior high and elementary and uh, kindergarten. Wow, we did? Wait a minute. Yes. Yes, we did. You and I had math. Science. Science, Science. together. Yes. 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 I'm Brooke Yardley. 
Brooke Yeard. Yes, Brooke Yeardley. How have you been? I've been great. I've been great. I actually just got back into town. Where did you go? Uh, well, I work for an investor, and he owns a lot of buildings and properties all over the place, so I'm constantly traveling. As a matter of fact, um, his latest, you know, the new building on the waterfront, that's ours. That is so fancy. It I is. think I read about that. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. And this, this is you? This is where you work? This is where you called me from? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, well, that's a bummer for me because I actually need some furniture and some design inspiration because uh, I just bought this new house and I had somebody help me out and he dropped the ball and anyway, I fired him, everything's a mess and I could use some design advice. <laughs> really? That is so interesting because I do interior design, actually. I went to school for it. Really? Do you, do you have your own firm or something? Yeah, I have my own design firm. It, it's called By Design because I'm Brooke Yeardley, so it's B-Y by design. Well, that's cool. Do you have a card? Oh, uh, not on me. As a matter of fact, are you busy today? Because um, I'd love you to come over and check out the place. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually right on the corner of Maple. It's, it's one Maple Lane. Maple Lane. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I'll be there. I, I have a meeting to go to right now, so I'm thinking, would it be possible for you to come over around 6? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, actually, um, I'm gonna be late to my meeting now because of this whole oh. thing. I have to get him home and I can't bring him to the meeting. I don't even know how I'm gonna make it all happen, so. Well, you know what? So I, just... I could take him until you're done. No, I would never ask you to do that. No, it's not a problem. Mr. Noodle, Bentley and I are good friends. We've actually bonded quite a bit. He does have good taste. Oh. You sure you don't mind? I'm sure. Okay, well then I'll give this to you and I'll see you at uh, 6 p.m. Yes. I will. I will see you there. Okay. I'll see you there. <laughs> see ya. All right. Bye-bye. Right, Bye, Bentley. Be good. Hal Hartley. This is so weird. Let's check out these dicks. Nice going, Hal. All right, they need a foam board. Tara's painting. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, need more coffee. <laughs> oh, Brooke, you're here. We're all going to go out to dinner tonight. What happened to the painting? Why is it all oh. out of the frame? I'd love to come, but I have to prepare for a very important business meeting. Business meeting for the store? No. I don't work for Trevor anymore. Mm, it's for my company. Your company? By design. Brooke, just <gasps> because you got some business cards printed with the name of your junior high business on them, doesn't mean you have a real company. True. But having an important client meeting at, oops, six does. I better go. Don't want to be late. Oh, how <laughs> exciting. <laughs> you have a client meeting? I know, Mom, it was the craziest thing. I called Mr. Noodle's owner to come get him, and he said he had a new house he needed help with at one Maple Lane. And you'll never guess who it was. Oh, my God. How hardly. <laughs> You're going to be working with how hardly. I mean, if it all goes well, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, Mom. How did you know uh, Hal Hartley was Mr. Noodles' owner? I didn't. Yes, you did. You just said when she said Oak Tree Lane, you said Hal... Tara, I don't know. Maybe I heard he bought that house on Oak Tree Drive. Maple Lane. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I have to help you with your hair. What, Mom? My hair's fine. No, no, it's not. Oh. <sighs> Auntie Brooke has her own company? Yeah, sure. So, I'm slightly confused. How did you come up with all this if you hadn't seen my house yet? Um, I actually looked up the real estate listing. I wanted to get some ideas, and I guess I got carried away. It's actually exactly what I was imagining, but I just couldn't put that into words. Really? 
Yeah, really. Well, I, I think it's important sometimes to visualize something, to get a sense of what it is you really want. I totally agree with that. You know, when I was playing football, I used to visualize what the winning plays would look like in my head. And more often than not, those plays would turn out exactly the way that I saw. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, do um, you have any questions? I actually do. I have one question. When can you start? You mean? I mean, the job is yours. If you want the job. I do. I, I would love the job. <laughs> OK. I can start now. Absolutely. I will get that over to you ASAP. All right, thanks. Bye. I'm about ready to take off. Need anything from me before I go? No. The counter guys are coming later today, and the furniture guy should be... Oh! There he is, right on time. Perfect. I'll be right back out. OK. You. Hi. Again? <laughs> I thought I hired... Taylor General Contracting. It's my dad's company. Well, it used to be. I actually took it over last year. Cool. Nice toolbox. <laughs> Thank you. Come on in. Yeah. Wow. This place is huge. Yeah. Whoa, who would do that to a wall? Really ugly wallpaper. Can you remove it? Yeah, I can uh, remove that. <laughs> you said you wanted a fireplace built into? Yeah, I was thinking something right in the middle here. Very modern, very chic. OK, I mean, that would take a lot out of that wall. Are you sure you don't want it someplace else? No, I want it right there. See, right here on the design board. Fireplace, wall, it works. OK. OK, <clears throat> I want to take off. Hey, Hal Hartley. Josh, stand. So you are in control. OK. OK. <laughs> ah, you know what? I just remembered something. I'm going to take this stuff and get it mailed out today, and now I'm not going to have time to do it. Well, I could do it. Are you sure you don't mind? No, I don't mind. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, and I hate to ask you to do this, too, but would you mind um, taking Bentley for a quick walk before you leave? Not a problem. I'll see you later. OK. <laughs> nice meeting you, John. That's <laughs> Josh. So, uh, you're like his girlfriend, too? What? No. I'm his interior designer. Oh. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Nothing. I just mean, okay. Yeah, but it sounds like you're implying something. You're walking the dog, mailing stuff. Well, that's because he's a very busy businessman. And I happen to love Mr. Noodles. Mr. Noodles? Bentley. I love Bentley. Right, I can forget I said anything. I will. It's forgotten. Oh. Oh. Hold on, Mr. Noodles. Hold on. Oh, oh wow. This looks great. Couldn't agree more. You're home. I'll get out of your way. No, no, no. I was actually going to ask you if um, you'd like to join me for dinner tonight. I'd love to. Good. So, Hal, how did you end up doing what you do now? Did you just give up on football, or...? No, I was going to play football professionally until I blew my knee out. I'm so sorry. I'm actually happy you're doing what I'm doing now. You know, it's funny, but sometimes the things that you want to be doing are not really what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I do. Although, I think I'm sort of the opposite. I knew what I wanted when I was young, but I sort of lost my way without even realizing it. I made too many compromises. I only recently found my way back. Well, I for one am glad you did. Finding your way back with no compromises. To no compromises. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nice, nice, would you be? 
Okay, what do we think? Looks great. I almost feel like it should go this way. This is how you said. I know, I, uh, I'm just not sure anymore. Here? What do you have in here? This way. Well, take up most of that. Hmm. No, long ways. With the chairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just like we had it before. Thank you, Nash. That's really good. No, I hate it. Okay. I hate it. Just. Okay. All right, boys. Let's take it out. Chairs first, and we'll get the table. Any luck with the chandelier? No. Wow, that looks great. Yeah, I'm done with the fireplace. Time to have a look. And it's double-sided. I didn't know you were gonna do that. Works, though. You can see all the way through. I figured it would open it up more. Yeah, but still, you should check with me before you do something like this. I mean, this is my vision. I know. What's that supposed to mean? Just that you're not open to any input. You got it all figured out on that little board there. Well, that's because I have a very clear vision of what I want. And I don't intend to compromise. I'm not talking about compromise. I'm talking about being open to something new. Something that'll sweep you off your feet. Yeah, no. We're doing it my way. As planned. Yes, ma'am. Does look good, though. Hey, I uh, know you're still looking for something here. I found a gallery that's doing an event. Lots of new pieces on sale. Oh, wow. Looking better every single morning, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a spot on his tie. Look at that. Oh, that's not a problem at all. No? No, I can fix that. Really? Yeah. You know what, I'd actually rather you handle it anyway. Because honestly, if I touch it, it's going to be destroyed. That's for sure. And can you take Bentley for a quick walk again before you leave? Of course. I don't know where this morning has gone. It's just flown by. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a favor. It's a small favor. He would do the same for me. Okay. I'll prove it. Hal? Did you call me? Yes. Yeah. Would you do me a favor? Sure. Would you go to this gallery opening with me? It's uh, to find a chandelier for the house. Um, yeah, sure, that sounds like fun. Let me just check my schedule, but why not? Great. Okay, I'll see you later. See you. Okay, <laughs> John. <laughs> it's... See? Okay, okay, firstly, that was not a for sure yes. Secondly, I don't know if picking out items of furniture for his own house is really a favor for you. You don't understand. Some things are just... Meant to be. Meant to be? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, all this meant to be stuff is nonsense. You're very negative. I mean, people can convince themselves of anything. It doesn't make it true. It's like when I opened up my own shop. It was hard. I was fighting with my fiance all the time. My dad was putting pressure on me to take over the business. Eventually, I just gave it all up. Closed up shop. And you're happier this way? It's just easier. You know, my dad always wanted me to take over the company, so it all worked out. Hi, Hal. Yeah, I'm just here at the gallery. Just let me know when you get here. Okay. Oh my God, this would be perfect. I don't know. Might be too small. What are you doing here? Are you stalking me? <laughs> no. Are you checking to see if Hal showed up? No. Did he? Hi. Oh my God. She's stunning. Hello, honey. <laughs> So, 
You ready to go? Yeah, I just gotta do one thing, baby. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Barbara, this is Brooke. Brooke, Barbara. Oh. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. So, you work together with Josh? Josh? Josh. Oh, Josh. Yes. I mean, yes. Oh, excuse me for one second. Hi, Hal. Hey, Brooke. I got held up at the office. Now I'm just leaving. Traffic's a mess. It's like a parking lot out here. I don't know if I'm going to even be able to make it to the party at all tonight. Too bad. That's my ex, Brent. And he's with Bill Keys. Oh, my gosh. They must be looking for new ideas for their furniture line. You know Bill Keys? Yeah, he bought out Brent's store. Wait. Hey. Hello? So sorry, Hal. I have to go. Brooke? Hi. Wow, I can't believe you're here. How are you? I'm good. Oh, is that a new business card? Let me see. By design, by design. You're finally trying to get that little design firm of yours going. That's great, Brooke. I'm glad you're moving on. I'm not trying to move on. I'm. I'm... But Brooke, you must try. You can't stay stuck in the past. I'm not stuck in the past. Hey, boss, did you want me to load this chandelier into the back of my truck? Oh, um, yes. Wait, wait. You're his boss? Yeah, uh, Josh Stanton. Yeah, I'm working for Brooke on her uh, current project. It's a reno redesign, about 5,000 square feet, wouldn't you say, boss? Um, yes, approximately. Wow, really? I'll get the truck. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Brooke! Hi, Mr. I thought Reed. that was you. So good to see you. You too. You know the store is not the same without you. I always knew that you were the real eye behind those design choices. So kind of you to say. And did I hear you say that you are now starting your own interior design firm? Yeah, it's small, but um, that's me. <laughs> Clever name. If you're interested, I'm looking for a decorator to help me with my new chain of boutique hotels. To make the rooms efficient, of course but also practical and unique. I'd love to see your new work once you finish your current project. Really? Yes. Yes, I'd be honored. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hal, you made it. I did, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Hal Hartley, this is Bill Keyes and Brent Davis. It's such a pleasure to meet you, sir. I've read both your books, inspired me greatly. Thank you. In fact, I'd love to talk to you about uh, our newest project. We're actually working on a series of micro apartment complexes all across Europe. Well, I don't have a lot of time now, and I'm going to be going out of town for the next couple of weeks. Perhaps when you get back. We're actually going to be throwing a little party when Brooke finishes the house to celebrate in her honor. We are? Two weeks from Friday. Yes. You should absolutely stop by. We're going to have drinks, and we can talk. For Brooke? Sure. I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Two weeks, but... I still have to find the main item of furniture for the living room, and there's just so many. I know you can do it. I have faith in you. And speaking of which, I think we're gonna have to go dramatic with this thing, you know, especially if he's gonna be there. So, thinking backyard, maybe we do a little, uh, little ice bar, a water feature. Do you have any ideas? I think I could come up with something. I'm sure you can. That's what I love about you, you're so positive. You know, I feel like, like meeting you at this time, it was almost as if it was meant to happen. I really like you a lot, Brooke. I, lo I like you too, Hal. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. I'm gonna faint. Hal Hartley loves me. He loves me. Is everything okay? It's great, Mom. Everything's wonderful. <laughs> like a dream come true. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you happy. Remember oh, this? <laughs> oh, let's, how many nights did we do this? Huh? Wee! <laughs> oh, I can remember you screaming. <laughs> oh. Mom. What? Was it all really thanks to that vision board and my birthday wish? Who knows, honey? But I do think that when things are meant to be, they find a way to happen, no matter what. Just 
Speaking of birthdays, Lily wants a dollhouse for hers. What do you think about giving her your old one? I love that idea. Oh, good. What do you think about inviting Hal to the party? We'd all love to meet him. I'll ask him, Mom, but he's really busy. In the meantime, I have two weeks to come up with something dramatic for his backyard. Just thinking maybe a fountain? I don't know. Really? You don't know? Oh. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> a gazebo? Indeed, a gazebo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> You're the best, Mom. I love how you modified the chandelier. Looks great. Gazebo, huh? Yes, and it needs to be done in two weeks. Can you do it? Two... Hey, what kind are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe something hexagonal or rectangular. Like a pergola? No, like a gazebo. Exactly like a gazebo with a latticed roof. Yeah, that's a pergola. No, it's a gazebo. Okay, I'll make the gazebo. Uh, what do you think about over here? Hmm. Yeah, I think we need something for the center here. You know, we might have just the thing. <laughs> what? My painting, really? I told you I loved it. You're not doing this out of pity, are you? No. I just knew it would be perfect. And it is. <laughs> I still don't have anything for over here. I've tried every bench, every table, every chair. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> There's nothing on your board that tells you exactly what's supposed to be here. No, nor do I see any dazzling ideas that sweep me off my feet. Yeah, see, that's the thing about unexpectedly dazzling. <laughs> what are you doing? But <laughs> well, look at this place. <laughs> oh, <Rena. laughs> You're good at this. Oh, my mom made me take utility classes in high school. She thought it would make me more friends. And did it? No, I, uh... <laughs> I lost the few friends that I had. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <sighs> Still don't see any dazzling ideas floating around. So. <sighs> okay, a little to the right. Oh, a little more to the left. Perfect. Painting looks great, but I think we need a shelf, some more storage. It looks a little flat. I don't know. I like the simplicity. We need storage here. I don't think so. I think so. Well, I don't. Well, I'm the decorator, and this is my vision. And I'm the contractor, and I make your vision a reality. And the reality is, this is perfect. Can you just add some storage, please? For you, sure. You know, this is uh, becoming quite the house. Yeah. It's a real home. Brooke! Oh, hi, Hal. You're home early. Yeah, I thought I'd just stop by. Everything's looking great. <laughs> I'm actually gonna head out again, but... Oh, uh, is that... Is that where that painting is gonna go? Oh, you don't like the painting? No, I like it. I mean, I, I like kids' art. It's just, I actually ordered a big flat screen that I thought I was gonna put there instead. You wanna put a TV in the middle of the room? Yeah. I mean, we could talk about it, but, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, the tie, did the stain come out? It did. I brought it to the dry cleaners and it's hanging in your closet. That's incredible. You never cease to amaze me, you know that? All right, look, I'm gonna head to the gym. I'll check in with you later. Don't give me that. It was one little favor. I didn't say anything. I was just sitting here thinking pergola thoughts. They're uh, pergolating in my mind. Gazeboing. All right. And I know what you're thinking, so just stop. He would totally do the same thing for me. I'm sure of it. Yeah, okay. In fact, Hal? Yeah, did you call me? <laughs> yes. Would you do me a favor? Um, sure. My niece's birthday party is next weekend. Would you come with me? I'd love to. As my date? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> there, you see? Yeah, all right. All right? No excuses? No, no, I guess I was, uh, I was wrong about him being a selfish, self-centered, untrustworthy. Exactly. Maybe you were. All right. I'm gonna get my tools to build the shelves underneath the uh, painting. Oh, I'm, I know, sorry, the, the TV. Shelves under the TV. Yep. Yeah, man. It's actually, it's going great. The house is coming along, finally. Yeah, well, you know, I have this new interior designer. She's great. She's actually really sweet and great ideas. She's cute. She's like a real doll. Yeah. Well, actually, the only thing is she just invited me to her niece's birthday party. So I know, I know. yikes, right? So I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering um, if we could, in fact, move, uh, you know, that all boys Vegas weekend we're doing next weekend? Can we move it to this weekend? Because that way I can avoid the snooze fest and, uh, you know, just tell her that uh, I'm working out of town or something. Yeah, we can do it. All right, buddy. I'll see you this weekend. Vegas, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Nope, just my thoughts. Wow, Josh, this looks great. <laughs> oh. oh, the TV has arrived. Yeah, I brought it in. We just have to find some way to hide it. Hide it? Yeah, like maybe one of your paintings. We can make a bigger version of it and cover it in some way. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, I did get the wallpaper for the accent wall, and the marble should be arriving for the floors any day now. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Oh, hey, John. Don't forget about our lunch today, all right? We're gonna go for an Indian. Oh, great. Hey, my TV showed up. All right. <laughs> I'll see you soon. See ya. Don't worry. Got you covered. Yeah, yeah, you do. I trust you. Whoa, wait a second. Did you, you just said that you trusted me? Oh, did I say that? I just meant call me, you know, if you need anything. Right. Oh, and I added some more gazebo images to the design board. Of course you did. Oh, I love this. The colors and the marbling. Looking good, Mr. Stanton. You can get back to work. See you later. Yeah. Is there any way that I can get you alone? I'm not even gonna try to take you back home. Something about you that I just, I just need to know. I need to know you. Frame looks good. Is there anybody out there waiting on you? Now I said the screensaver. If there's anything that you just want me to hear, perfect. Come whisper in my ear. Frame painting. Okay, now for the gazebo. Is that design board? I don't know, man. I think we're looking at a major problem in the future with that whole soil pressure issue. Forget it. The report's not in yet, so we don't know about the issue, right? Just plain as it. All right. What's wrong? 
It just sounds like you're lying to your investors. Nah, it's just business, baby. <laughs> She's an artist. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Hi, Josh. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I just can't find your design board anywhere. Oh, no. I hope I didn't leave it at the house. I'll take care of it. OK. Bye. Pal, yeah. do you think we could stop by my mom's to pick up the design board on the way home? No, I don't think we're going to have time to do that. Why don't you call Josh? See if he can swing by and pick it up. I'm sure he'll do it for you. I'm sure he would, too. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. I'll just have my mom bring it to him. Oh, good. Yeah. So we know what we're doing with the report, right? Absolutely. I got it handled. Excellent. OK. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, you must be uh, Brooke's sister mm. and Brooke's other sister. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> and that makes you Brooke's mother. No, I'm Lily. <laughs> uh, here, we brought you this. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Two ladies maybe want to come inside? Take yes. A <laughs> Is it OK? Come in. Come in. <laughs> I like that chandelier. Oh, yeah? Oh. oh. I've wanted to see inside this place ever since Brooke started working here. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. That's all thanks to your talented daughter. Uh, well, she says the same thing about you. <laughs> really? Because she doesn't say that to me. <laughs> oh. I like that big picture. Not a picture. It's actually a big TV screen. It's just frames when it looks like a painting. I want one of those. Can I have one of those for my dollhouse? Lily, now I've told you, you don't know you're getting a dollhouse for your birthday. She's getting a dollhouse. I'm getting a dollhouse. <laughs> so uh, where is Brooke anyway? I mean, she's having uh, lunch at that Indian place. Well, we don't want to interrupt your lunch. So thank you. Will you come to my party? Oh, uh, I gotta keep working here. Oh, no, I we'd love to have you. The more the merrier. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't miss it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you again. No, it's fine. Wow, oh, isn't this amazing? Oh, you be good, Mr. Mr. Noodles. Mr. Noodles! <laughs> Oh, hi. There you are with the dog again. You know, if you have any free dog walking spots, I know someone who would love to come by. <laughs> no, no. Come on, girls. Let's go. Um, what's he talking about? Bye, I Mom, have you know. no idea. I think he's got us confused with somebody else. Go ahead. Mom, seriously, why did that mailman recognize you? Why do you think you were here with that dog before? I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. No, you're up to something. Oh, come on, let's just go get Lily your shoes. Nice to see you again. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Lose five pound. Dreams really can. Uh, wow, the wallpaper looks great. Oh, and the shelves, too. Wow, Josh. Oh, did you get my design board? Yeah, I think I know exactly what you had in mind. Oh my, oh my god, that's not my design board. What are you doing with this? But what the hell is it? It's nothing, it's nothing. But seriously, what, what is it? It's my vision board from when I was 14, and it, it's stupid. It, it has Mr. Noodles on it, and by design. It means nothing to me, and I'm just gonna put it in the car. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay, oh, but just to be, wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, just uh, just to be clear on what a vision board is, it's like, what, a design board, but for your life? Yes, exactly. It's just something from my childhood that I don't take seriously. Good, because I thought for a second that maybe you were basing your entire life on this glittery magazine cutout fantasy from when you were a child, which would be <laughs> totally nuts. It'd be ridiculous. No, it'd be beyond ridiculous. It'd be crazy. Yeah, it would be crazy. 
But it wouldn't be that crazy, though. Yes, it would. Because we're adults. We're not 14. Yeah, of course. But it's possible that what you wanted when you were 14 is what you were meant to have in your life, right? No. Yes. And it's possible that by giving up on those childhood dreams, you're actually giving up on yourself and giving up on ever finding your true destiny. I see what you mean. But I gotta go. Where? I'm gonna become an astronaut. No, wait, it's a, a fireman. That's not what I meant. I just meant these vision boards, everybody does them. I mean, Oprah, she manifests everything she wants in her life. And, and you know why? Because they work. Well, wait, 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 wait. The photo of your dream man, is, is that how Hartley? It is. <laughs> is that what you're making me build a gazebo? No! Yes, it is. It's the exact gazebo that I'm building. To... I wanted you to build that because it's a beautiful gazebo. Does he know? You want to marry him in it? Because I don't. I am building it because he wanted a dramatic feature for his backyard, so I chose a gazebo because who wouldn't want a fabulous gazebo in their backyard? It's perfect for parties and for entertaining. And weddings. You just don't understand. I think I do. The vision board's right. It has to be right. I know it sounds crazy, okay? I know. But the crazy thing is, is that it's all actually happening. Somehow I made a birthday wish that everything on my vision board would manifest in my life. And it has. All of it. First I lost five pounds. Then Mr. Noodles appeared. Then Hal appeared. Like it was all meant to be. Like I didn't even have to try. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't say that. Say what exactly? You're trying a little too hard, if you ask me. Obviously, you have an opinion on it, as you do on everything. It's just that you, like, forget who you are sometimes around your soulmate, Hal Hartley. I, I, mean, I mean, you stand differently. You, you eat foods you don't like. It's like you're not really you. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, it's because he's the customer, and, and the customer is always right. <laughs> Look, I know you have something against Hal. I don't know what it is, I don't understand it, but I, I don't know why you dislike him so much. I don't trust him, he's, he's untrustworthy. Can, can you see that? Or is your vision board blinding you to reality? If you have something specific to say about Hal, just say it. Otherwise, just leave me alone. Because I don't have room for your negativity in my life. Okay. You want me to be specific? I... I overheard him Brooke. talking. Brooke! Hey! Bring it in. <laughs> I got some good news. I'm guessing your meeting went well. Yes, it did. All right, first of all, Bill Keys has RSVP to our party. And let me tell you this. If I get him to invest in our next project, I'll be paid partner. That's great. Congratulations. I know. Thank you. <laughs> um, Hal? Yeah? That problem that you were talking about at lunch, that soil pressure thing, you're going to tell Mr. Keys about it, right? You're not going to try to trick him or anything? Oh, no, of course not. I'm going to tell him for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I forgot to tell you. Next weekend, I got to go into town. I gotta head to Milwaukee for work. Next weekend, that's, that's Lily's party. I know, I know, and I wouldn't miss that for the world, but what can I do? No, I get it, it's work. I understand. You can meet my family anytime. Great, you're the best. Oh, and you know, since I'm gonna be out of town, you wanna take Bentley for the weekend for me? You can stay here if you'd like. Yeah, of course. Great, you're the best. <laughs> you already said that. Perfect, isn't it? 
Yeah. Um, let me just rearrange one. Rearrange one thing. Maybe you should design board it. Josh, what are you doing here? Oh, Lily invited him. Yeah, I hope I'm not late. Just on time. We were just getting ready to take it out to her. Can you give us a hand? Sure thing. <laughs> I want to see. No. I want to see. One second. Love it. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, one more thing. This is for you. <gasps> it's oh. the big screen TV <laughs> with the remote. Where did you get this? I made it just for you. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Enjoy. <laughs> so that's what you got her. Out of all the possible dollhouse items, you got her a big screen TV. Well, it's like you said, the customer is always right. Would you like a piece of pizza? I would love a piece. <laughs> Thank you. No, it was really nice of you to come. You kidding? This is my kind of party. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but listen. I want to apologize. I had no business talking to you like that the other day. No. Actually, I think maybe you were right about me. I mean, I think I do turn into another person when Hal's around, and it goes beyond him just being the customer. You know, with Brent, my ex, I was myself, and it didn't work out so well. I think I'm just trying to be the person I always wished I was. Oh. Uh, well, there's your problem. Because, you know, the real you is really not bad. Oh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. And if your old boyfriend couldn't see that, that's his problem. It shouldn't make you unhappy with who you are. That's not fair to you or the person you end up with. They should get to experience the whole you not just some magazine cutout version. Because, you know, the real you is really good. Brooke, can you come help me for a second? One sec. Yeah. Hey, Mom. What? Do you think it's possible that the vision board was wrong about some things? Maybe I'm not meant to be with Hal after all. You and Hal are absolutely supposed to be together. Promise, okay? Looks great. Okay, well, we're almost done. Can you run get the platter in the garage, please? Yeah, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hmm. Do you think it's time you told her the truth? The truth? about how you faked the whole vision board coming true thing? Faked it? Tara, are you suggesting Save it, that Mom. I would... I know what you did. I went back to that mailman, and he told me he saw you carrying Mr. Noodles out of Hal's yard six weeks ago. The very day Brooke discovered him in our yard? You tracked down Hal and, and stole his dog? Just so you could get him and Brooke together? I didn't steal his dog. I borrowed it. She just needed a little magic in her life. And if borrowing Hal's dog and messing with that scale would do the trick, then so be it. I knew you messed with that scale. And I would never, ever hurt her by telling her the truth. Josh. Hey. Hey. Oh, you have to tell me. What was it that you heard Hal saying? Yeah. Um, I heard him talking, and he said that he thinks you're smart and beautiful and a real doll. Oh, but that's nice. 
I guess I was under the impression it was something negative. No, no, no. There's nothing negative about you. I just didn't want you to get a big head. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh my gosh, I have to take out Mr. Noodles. I totally forgot. Oh, uh, <gasps> all right, well, I, I can go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, stay, sing happy birthday. Okay. Well, I'll meet you after? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Why's it gotta be so hard? Why's it gotta be this way? It's like I'm being torn apart by all this beautiful pain. I know you wanna be with me, but you gotta go to him. Pretty good with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's cute. I can hardly close my eyes. Then I wake up in a dream. Brooke, are you here? I'm here. I'll let you go. Wait, are you coming to the party? Uh, there you are. Hey, I thought you weren't coming home until tomorrow night. Well, that was the plan, but guess what? I missed you. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, but I was thinking about you, and I was actually excited about coming home and seeing you, so... And I felt bad about missing your niece's party. As an apology, I got you this. Oh. It's a spa day. The uh, deluxe package comes with everything, plus a complete wardrobe refresh. So I thought maybe uh, use it before the party. It'll be like like a whole new you. A whole new me? Oh. Hey, um, I'm gonna take a quick shower. He said we order in some food tonight and just hang out. Whatever you want. You're the best. See you in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I almost didn't recognize you. Thanks. I think. <laughs> These look wonderful. House looks great. Let the party begin. Mm. <gasps> it look beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it looks magnificent. Oh, and so do you. <laughs> So, which one's how? Are you gonna do this? Oh, I'll have to do it later. I'm sorry, I just, just excuse me. Brooke. Where's your keys? Yes. I would have come sooner and beat the crowd, but you know how it is. This chandelier, is that original? Uh, no, I actually installed that. Wow. That's... Come on in. My daughter told me to tell you hello. Oh, great. These chairs, did you add this hand? Mm-hmm. But I really, really want to show you this right here. Whoa. And I like that you have the storage already built in. Yeah, that came to us in a moment of inspiration. It was done by the same artist that did that painting. The painting is very interesting. And personally, Brooke, I think that that's the focal point of this room. Yeah, but you know what the best part is? It's actually a frame <laughs> TV. I love it. Now, we definitely need this in our hotels. Brooke, I'm thoroughly impressed. Can we set up a meeting and soon? Yes. Right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. There he is. Bill, I'm so glad you made it. Let's go have that drink, OK? All right. Come on. <gasps> oh my god, Josh, I have the greatest news. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, I heard that you are the new lady in House Life. Uh, I guess? I heard he came back early from his weekend in Vegas for you. No, he was in Milwaukee last weekend. Hey, guess what? Bill Keys is in. I did it. Oh. Yes. Wow, that's great. Um, can I talk to you outside? Yeah, sure.
Hal, were you in Vegas last weekend? Vegas? <laughs> no. I can't believe I actually thought that you had a, a meeting in Milwaukee last weekend. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes, I was in Vegas. I, I, I just went to clear my mind. You know, when you do what I do, sometimes you just got to get away, okay? But you know what? I, I felt bad that I lied to you, and, uh, and I, I missed you. And I came back a day early to see you. And all that is true. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. Uh, I don't want to lose you, Brooke. I like being around you. I like knowing when I come home, you're going to be here. I, I like that you make me honest. But I don't, really. I mean, did you even tell Mr. Keys about that soil pressure thing? No, not yet, but I will, okay? But look, I, I just like who I am when I'm with you. But I don't know who I am around you. Look, this, this isn't me. And I don't want someone that I have to keep honest. I just want someone that just is honest. I want, I want, oh my God, I have to go. <laughs> hey, 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 where are you going? I have to go. I have to make my own future and not be controlled by some childhood fantasy. Yeah, okay. I knew you'd get it. Do you have any idea what that was about? No clue. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea if that man over there is single? No idea. <laughs> Good evening to you, Mr. Stanton. It was absolutely baby. Baby? I mean, that life just isn't for me. And besides, we have to do the responsible thing now that there's a baby on the way. Oh! <laughs> Jewish! I thought I'd find you out here. Why are you crying, Miss Grooving? I'm not crying. And it's not a pergola. Uh, you are, and it is. Fine, I'll tell you. I ended things with Hal. You know, how I'll never have love. Because the person I was meant to be with, I don't want. And the person I want, I can't have. So you, uh, you broke up with Hal? Yeah. I mean, he was my dream man, but he wasn't the one who could make my dreams come true. He wasn't you. Brooke. No. No, I can't fight fate. I mean, you're taken. You're with Barb and you're about to be a father. Uncle. Wait. Did you say uncle? Yeah. An uncle. But you said you wanted to do the responsible thing. Yeah. I'm letting my brother take over the company. But you call her Baby. Yeah, it's a nickname. My brother could never say it, so Barbara, Baby. Baby. So you're not with anyone? No, I'm, I'm not with anyone. I want to find something unexpected. 
something dazzling. Beautiful. And did you find it? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did too. Now kiss the bride. Keep kissing. Yes. 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 Clap it up, people. Aren't they beautiful? Congratulations. It was a beautiful wedding, even if it wasn't to me. <laughs> Thanks for letting us use your backyard and the gazebo. It was my pleasure. Besides, they're going to be selling this place anyway now that I'll be in Europe for the next couple of years working on that new project, so. Which actually reminds me, I, you know, I was thinking I don't want to take Bentley here away from everything he knows and loves, so I was wondering if, um, well, maybe, you know, you would want to. Take Mr. Noodles? Are you serious? I think he likes you better than he likes me. Yes! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Just consider it a wedding present. It's the best wedding present ever. Congratulations again. Wow. <laughs> Good. Mr. Keys, you and I will be talking a lot. Absolutely. Josh, congrats, buddy. Thanks, man. Right. You're gonna make me cry. Thanks for giving me away, Mr. Keys. <laughs> it's my pleasure. As long as I know that you and this guy are gonna come back rested and ready to work. Right, Josh? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweetie, you guys be good. Sweet stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that all this would happen? Yeah, even without it being on your message board. Vision board, whatever. <laughs> but you have to admit, my little ruse gave you the push you needed. It did. And I know your heart was in the right place. And I got my perfect gazebo wedding. Mom, thanks for never letting me give up on my dreams. Never. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Hey, Brooke. Maybe uh, we, we we should get to the car. But the car is that way. Yeah, but uh, our house is... Wait, why is all my stuff here? Our house? You mean... Yeah. <laughs> uh, how was selling, so... Um... What? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now she's really gonna think that vision board came true. Oh, come on. But of course it didn't, because the most important part, the groom, wasn't even on it. Oh, well, of course not, Tara. They didn't even know each other in high school. Actually, they did. Of course, yours didn't look the same he does now, so she might not remember. Especially because he spent most of his time in that mystic custom. Mystic custom? Mystic custom. Like. Like the tiger. <laughs> oh, he was in the mascot costume. <laughs> like I said, mascot. The mascot costume. Sorry. Don't you get it? You were there. You were there the whole time. Under the find my dream man section. Oh my God. <gasps> Yeah, that's me, unfortunately. <laughs> I knew it all along. I just didn't see it. Okay. I knew we were meant to be. <laughs> to marry you, Charlie Trask, one day. Brooke! Hey, guys! Oh, oh you look so beautiful! <laughs> yeah, we just came to drop off Mr. Noodles. What are you doing? Mom? Yes? Is that a vision board? Maybe. <laughs> Do you want to move your hand? No. Oh. What? Seriously? 
seriously, triplets? Hey. Mom. What? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Oh. Hi, honey. Mr. Noodles. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> um, art project. Oh. It's better you don't know. <laughs> right. All right, we're off. Oh, have a fabulous honeymoon, guys. <laughs> all right. See ya. Love you. You too. Make lots of babies. <laughs> Bye. I remember the gray skies And how they dim the lights low I remember your brown eyes And how they stole the show I remember we want to fade But where did that go? Solid walls You've got to be ready to believe in